You got friends, don't you? Good ones. Well, I got some too. One of them was named Brady. Brady was my friend. From Mobile, Alabama. There was a lot of light, Brady and me. We were both drafted. Came from the same kind of family, I think. Nice people. Just getting ready to get out around the same time, too. About a month before we were supposed to come home, Brady got wounded. When he was leaving the hospital, this is in California, when he's getting out of the hospital, he calls his parents, you know, to, to tell them he's on his way, and would they mind if he brings a friend home with him? He met him in the hospital or something, I don't know. Brady's mother says, fine. And then Brady, he says, this guy's going to need a little bit of help. He still doesn't get around very well yet. His mother asked what was wrong with him. Brady said he's lost an arm and a leg. He's probably going to need a little bit of help. Well, his mother just lost it. I mean, and she couldn't handle that at all. So she puts his father on the phone, and his father really gives it to him. Why are you doing this to us? That's what he said. His father. Don't you realize how long we've been looking forward to this? Why are you always trying to ruin everything for us? So Brady apologized. And after he hung up the phone, he checked into a Holiday Inn and he hung himself in the bathroom. They shipped the body to Mobile. <laughs> and I've tried. I've tried to picture the expression on his parents' faces when they went and picked up Brady from the airport. The expression on their faces when they realized that their little soldier boy was missing an arm and a leg. So... I don't go along. I don't care about any of it anymore. So you can take your social responsibility and your traditional values and shove them right up your ass. Because I'm a survivor. And I got that way by not giving a shit over things that are not worth getting a shit over. And if you can't handle that, then that's too fucking bad.